Uh, the government may well make a move, Leon, that uh, in its view, uh, Jimmy DeMora should be uh, placed uh, in custody immediately. Um, we, we haven't been told that officially, but that typically um, happens in these cases. And it'll be interesting to see if the government, in fact, makes that move. Uh, he would be entitled to have six to eight weeks to get his personal affairs in order before reporting to a federal prison. But uh, I wouldn't be totally surprised if the government makes a motion to immediately uh, place Mr. G uh, DeMora in federal custody. Let me bring our, our viewers up to, up, to, up to date on where we are with Michael Gabor. Guilty on 1, 17, 19, 21, and 28. And, uh, and how many charges were over Michael Gabor? How many counts were over Gabor? He, he, he was charged with eight counts. He had eight uh, in eight different counts. And again, to bring the viewers uh, up to date on him, he was a co-defendant in this case. Uh, he was hired uh, in the auditor's office. He went to Jimmy DeMora, asked for DeMora's help in 2005 to uh, get a job uh, in the uh, auditor's office. And prosecutors said he, in fact, paid $5,000 to get that job, paid $5,000 to uh, former auditor Frank Russo. Let me take you back to where you were just about two minutes ago. You were talking about its possibility that Jimmy DeMora might be put in federal custody immediately, not even allowed to go home. Is he considered a flight risk? Is that why the government might do that? I know we're speculating right here. Well, sure. Uh, that is the basis that they would use, yes. Uh, they would allege that uh, he would have an incentive in their view uh, to flee. Uh, I think his his lawyers are very quickly uh, going to point out that, um, in their view, Mr. DeMora is dead broke, um, that he has no money to go anywhere. And this, that's actually an interesting point because, Leon, you might recall that toward um, the end of last year, there was a lot of go around about just how much money Jimmy DeMora actually had. At one point, uh, there was talk of providing him a, a public defender and putting this entire uh, burden of his defense on taxpayers. Uh, eventually, uh, DeMora ponied up and put his house uh, up on the block. Um, uh, his house was paid for. It's roughly a $400,000 home, and he took out a loan on the house. Uh, and that uh, supposedly is what is uh, going to pay uh, his attorney fees. But as I mentioned earlier, with that RICO conspiracy racketeering charge, the government's now entitled to uh, almost everything he has. So it's, uh, it's going to be interesting to see how that plays out. Uh, before we, you get away, uh, Ron, uh, l let me ask you, this case w w was played out right there in, in Summit County in, in federal court in Akron. Why did, did, the pro did the defense think it could not get a fair trial in Cuyahoga County? Is that why all of, the, all of this went to Akron in the first place? Uh, no, I don't think so. What happened here really was um, the case was originally in front of a uh, federal judge who uh, was elevated to a higher position. And the case was inherited by uh, federal court judge Sarah Leoy, who is based here uh, in, in Akron. So procedurally, uh, that's how the case wound up being tried here. But what uh, uh, more to your point, Leon, uh, the federal court system for um, the U.S. District for Northern Ohio uh, draws its voters from, a, uh, I think it's roughly a 10-county area. And uh, many of the members of the jury were actually from um, Summit, Wayne, Stark, uh, and counties outside of uh, Cuyahoga County. So that uh, many of these people weren't even uh, uh, living in Cuyahoga County. Uh, we've just found out that uh, Gabor has been found guilty on 31, 32, but not 33. 31, 32, but not 33. Michael Gabor uh, uh, guilty on, on those uh, right now, Ron. All right, I'm checking here. Um, I, I, I want to refresh myself a little bit on what uh, <laughs> you've done. You've done a wonderful job. Uh, uh, you, you seem quite refreshed with, with uh, uh, up to speed on, on, on much of this. We've got uh, in the studio right now, I want to bring in John McCafferty and